On this episode, she said I might... I say leave. <laughs> this is Hollow, please calm down. Bring the suggestive there. And the epic journey continues. Hey YouTube! Hey ninjas! It's Prime Ninja and welcome to the Crookman. And uh, to be honest, I was planning to play this way before PewDiePie does. But yeah, he I saw his video today and I'm like... Damn it! I need to upload my. I know I need to record mine now, cause I was actually planning this a while ago, but I have to put it on to the queue. But now I'm just like screw this. I'm playing it, <laughs> and it's quite good. As apparently it's quite good. So I didn't watch this video. Didn't watch PewDiePie video, or anything. It's just like screen. I saw the screenshots and it's amazing. So let's play it. And um yeah, this game contains sudden surprises and harsh images. The weak of heart and those poor of horror should not play. The author sh takes no responsibility for any trouble that arises from playing this game. I'm fine. Just saying. There was a crookman. And he walked a crook man. He found a crook sixpence upon a crook. Style. I like the music. He bought a crook cat, which caught a crook mouse. And they all live together in the crook little house. That's it? Phew! Finally things look tight in this house. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? No, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I have to pay you back sometime. Oh, it's nice. Oh, nice. The three of us should go. Could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. I look. What? Well, we better get going. Got it. You be careful, you two. So I am. If I'm not mistaken, I'm playing David then. And I apologize. He's can hear like a keyboard or anything. It's this microphone being shitty. Sometimes, actually. <laughs> There's a large crack in the wall. So, like, is there anything that I should be doing? Is that... Oh, wait, is that something there? Huh? Sheesh. Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Well, I should get it to him. Is it? You hear someone. What's with that place, seriously? It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace. And that would not happen, you hear? Look. What can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. You know. Can't even afford much furniture. Besides, you told me you look for the place. Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just want to help David out. I know, look, I should be sorry. We'll visit someone at a time. The talking gets distant. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. You say say so, David? Hey, the phone. Hello? 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 Who's this? Shelly? I guess the phone just caught. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in a new place. Well, you like you said, David. Ooh, what the fuck? Man, I'm tired. That's how you walk into the bed. You just walk through the bed. You don't just climb on it. That's lovely. Lovely indeed. Ugh, really? Is there somebody cry? Can't sleep through this. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. <laughs> yeah, on your first day already, you just want to complain. That is great. Um. I apologize for that. My phone is um, ringing. God damn it. Anyways, knocking gets no report. The response. 
knocking it's not my spawn. Woman's. Yes! Who is it? It is Zawa. Pardon me, it's just I can hear you from my room, even. What? No, okay, that one. It's, it's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 205, right? There's no way you would hear me there. Uh, I guess so. Sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right, the rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever, I'll better get back to sleep. Um, is this my room? What the fuck? What? Yikes! The water! This is the fight you bastard. Who? Hmm? Under the bed? Why? Under the bed. This poor. Is, no, sorry. Under the bed. This poor trying to prank me. Talk about bad taste. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? I suppose. Is something. Is under the bed. I don't know. What's under the bed? Not many clothes inside. No computer. Is there anything I should be doing here? Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Dang God. Hmm? Found something. Got a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away. I have spent every night clutching my way my sweaty pillow and writing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? Sorry, the woods are like blocked up by the screen for some reason. What's this? Does the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. Get to bed. That sounds too. Where is it coming from? Give me the break. I need to sleep. Well then. Huh, a phone call. Hello? Oh, I'm not, I haven't picked it up. Hello? Uh, yeah, thanks for all the. No, no, I didn't mean. Just, I'm busy with work, so. Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. What the fuck? Man, I slept into mood noon. Better go. So much for taking it easy. Uh, I suppose I go out then. Oh, hello. How are you? Paul, what is it? Yeah, um... Forgot my lessons yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah. This. Sorry. I was, for the I was going to bring it to you, but... Phew, thanks. So you're going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh yeah, Paul. Do you write something in the on the mirror bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror. What kind of charters charters brat do you take me for, David? Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Sorry. Uh, anyway, I'm off. Hey, this is this is like the same thing as Missile or something. This whole thing is like Missile. <laughs> Wait, somebody's somebody was just like kind of laughing. Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? That's his mom. Oh my! If it isn't little Timmy. You have suddenly grown. Good, you look healthy. Sorry, I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, so I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your throat cake shop too. So we can get better, we can live there together. Oh, that's sweet. 
No, that's wonderful. Get along, Linda. Where are you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David. Remember? Oh yes, they opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom. Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? How do you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something. Who are you? Ma, ma, oh. Get out! I have you drowned out. Somebody, somebody. There's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him now. Mrs. Hover. Mrs. Hover, don't strain yourself, please. Go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. Get away. Now, come down, Miss. Let's get you in the bed. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Davy, is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Wait, what? Mum, your flight schoolisms are coming out. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here, P Davy. Please, Mum, it's me. Remember, Mum. David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But she said I might. I said leave. <laughs> Mrs. Howard, please calm down. Bring the suggestive that I don't know how you say that. Well, that was horrible, really. Wait, where's the controls? Ah, there we go. We're safe, and um, see you next time. That was actually amazing. Well, we have nothing. We didn't see anything like bad yet, apart from his mom being confused and probably memorable. I don't know really. Well, anyway, so yeah, see you next time, and bye.